What's the deal with bank repos? We often get calls from people looking for bank repos. The perception out there is that if it's a bank repo, we are going to save lots of money. The bank will just give it up, give it away. If the house is worth 300, the bank will let it go at 250, 220 because they want to get rid of it. That potentially was happening many, many years ago. But in today's real estate market, the banks must sell the house as close to market value as possible. When we go in, we're called in by the bank, we go do our estimate, we give the, the amount that it's worth based on today's market. It doesn't matter if it's a bank repo it's, or if it's uh, owned by somebody, there's a value to the property. So if you are looking for a bank repo to save tons of money, good luck because it's probably not going to happen. The banks can hang on to those properties for a long time, even if it sits vacant. The banks don't mind as much because they have to do their due diligence to try to get as much money as possible for the sale of the house. So bank repos are great homes, but the thing is that if you are buying a bank repo, there's a good chance that you're buying it as is. The bank will not represent anything or the finance company will not represent anything about the property. So you are buying the house a lot of the times in pretty much as is condition. There are deals out there to be had, so just keep an eye out, keep looking, but the big fire sales on bank repos is just not happening. If you have any questions about bank repos or buying a house, make sure to give me a quick call, or you can always email me at jeanrichet at jeanrichet.com. Merci beaucoup et bonne journée.